Have you been using the recently released iOS 14 on your iOS device and when you check the battery percentage you see that the battery dropped by 60% but you only charged your iOS device like 2 hours ago? Well, in this video I will show you guys 10 different tips to solve this battery issue problem so make sure to watch the entire video. This is more of a continuation of my saving iOS device in battery life and in that video it did so good it got so many good comments I decided to make another video specifically for iOS 14. If you're specifically looking for one tip out of the other I'll be linking some chapters down right here and you can easily click on them to go to one specific and let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so if you've seen my previous video, I talked about how if your battery percentage is below a certain point, like the maximum capacity, then it's better off that you replace the battery, as this video's tip will not benefit you that much. So check if your battery percentage is low, or your maximum capacity is low, all you have to do is go to your settings app, and then scroll down to where it says battery, click on that, and click on battery health, and then check if your what your maximum capacity is. As you can see, my maximum capacity is 100%, meaning that this battery is brand new and it does not need replacement, and it's good. Maximum capacity is less than 80%. I strongly recommend that you replace your battery from an Apple or an Apple certified location, as these tips will not benefit you that much. Okay, so with that being said, let's get on to the first tip. So the first tip is, obviously, as you know, iOS 14 brought a new change to the home screen, and that is with the redesigned widgets. Obviously, now these widgets will take up a lot of your battery space, especially the ones that require them to constantly ping the internet and get information from the internet. And these include the media sources, for example, news articles and weather apps, because these widgets constantly require your iPhone or your iOS device to ping the internet and see if there's a new news article or if the weather is updated and so this will drain your battery over time and this is actually not needed because i mean widgets are not that beneficial or they're not that needed you can just like go into the app manually okay so the next tip which is a follow-up on the pre first tip is that you can edit your smart stack so for example if the smart stack if you let's say let's add a smart stack so go into jiggle mode click on the plus button if you go down to smart stack and then click add widget so, and click done. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff. So, for some reason, not all this stuff is necessary. We don't need all this stuff in my smart stack. So, what we're going to do is edit the smart stack so it only has stuff or widgets that we need, which are pertaining to us. To do this, we have hover above the smart stack and then click on it, press on it, and then click on edit stack. And then we can remove the add stacks, which we don't need. For example, I do not need photos. So, click on this three dashes right here and then swipe it and then click on delete once we've done that we can click on the x and then yes now we only have three widgets and we got rid of the photos so this over time will remove and save your battery life for example if you have like three smart stacks on three different home pages this will definitely save up battery space so i strongly recommend that you do this one Okay, so third tip for saving battery life with iOS 14 is that you have to actually turn off like the additional features that come with iOS 14. So the first one that you want to turn off is sound recognition. So basically sound recognition is, I've talked about this in my previous video, where I showed you the iOS 14 features and I'll link that video right here. But basically sound recognition is that your iOS device will be listening in, for, in the background for certain sounds such as a doorbell or like a faucet that's leaking or suppose if a cat's meowing or a dog is barking or you feel like a baby in your house that's crying but like they're not, not needed for everyday life so all you have to do is go to turn that off is go to settings and then you want to go back and you want to go to accessibility and you want to go to where it says sound recognition and then turn that off Okay, so the fourth tip is kind of like a follow-up of the third tip, and that is, have you seen the new released iOS 14 feature about back tap? Is basically when you double tap or triple tap your iOS device, it will do like a gesture or something that you've saved. So what I've done for double tap is basically the app switcher, if I can swipe with the apps, but this is not needed, you can just manually do it yourself. So to turn this off, all you have to do is go to settings again, and then scroll down to accessibility. And then this time click on touch, scroll down to back tap and then turn that off for both so to do none and then for triple tap also if you have this do none so this will save battery over time since this is requiring less interaction with the cpu 
and this will save battery life. Alright, so the next tip to save battery life is also on the accessibility and this is to reduce motion. So basically what reduce motion is, suppose if I exit this app, as you can see there's some motion right here, if I open the general settings app, there's some motion here. But this motion is actually not necessary and this requires battery and actually takes some stress on your battery and you can just like remove this altogether and this will definitely help your battery. So all you have to do to turn that off is first of all go back and then this time you have to go to motion and then turn on reduce motion. Basically it says to reduce the motion of the user interface including the parallax effective icons. So now I've turned that on. As you can see it just directly goes to the home screen. Let's launch the settings app again. There's not that much motion that you can see. So the sixth tip, which I've already kind of talked about in my previous video, where, where I showed you guys seven tips of saving battery life on your iOS device, is notifications. And a lot of people get this wrong, so I want to like stress on this. Basically, notifications are like tiny pop-ups on the top of your screen or on your lock screen when of some certain apps would be notifying you of some new thing that occurred. So you, some apps they're completely not necessary. For example, social media apps. You do not need notifications for everything that happens on social media, and but certain apps like messages and like phone calls. They might be needed, so you want to customize your notifications, not turn them off altogether. To do that, all you have to do is go to your settings, and then scroll down to, to where it says notifications, and then we have, we can do short previews, I have them for when unlocked, because I don't want them when my iPhone's locked, because that's not needed for me, I don't like that. So. Basically, show previews is basically suppose if iPhone is locked, the notifications will not be displayed for me. But when they're unlocked, it'll basically be displayed. So next, we want to customize our notifications. For example, I've turned them off for most of my social media apps. As you can see, Discord, I've, turn, I've turned it off for Discord, turned it off for Instagram, turned it off for McDonald's app. Basically, I've customized it. For example, certain apps such as Messages, I've turned all of them on because Messages are extremely vital and important. Okay, so now that we have customized our notifications for this Messages app, you can you should go through all the apps and filter out. For example, do you need notifications for this app? Or if you don't need it, turn it off. Alright guys, so the seventh tip for saving iOS devices battery life on iOS 14 is to make sure that you're using an Apple certified charging wire and brick for your iOS device. So these usually come in your box, maybe not for the iPhone 12, but from, I'm guessing everyone has like an iOS device below iPhone 12. So these come with the box in it and you can use these, make sure you use these instead of any other charger because these will actually, any other charger will degrade and downgrade your battery and spoil your battery over time. So make sure you don't use the one that you find at the gas station because those actually spoil the battery in the long run. And make sure to only use the ones that you get from Apple or... Okay guys, so the eighth tip for saving iOS devices battery life on iOS 14 is to make sure that you have this low power mode turned on. And they talked about it in my previous video, I showed you guys how to turn on low power mode. But however, sometimes people just forget to turn on low power mode and then they didn't realize that their battery is 20% and then they turn on low power mode when the iPhone asks them, do you want to turn on low power mode? Usually you want to turn on low power mode if you're below 50%. And there is now in iOS 14, you can actually set up a Siri shortcut to do this automatically. And the way to do this is very simple. Yes, yeah, so turn on the Siri shortcut. All you have to do is go to your Siri shortcuts app and then go to automation. And this is a new feature for iOS 14. So you want to click on create personal automation. And as you can see, there's a bunch of automations, but what we're interested in is in the battery level. So we're gonna turn that on. And then we have equals 50, rise above 50, falls below 50. So we're gonna click on falls below 50%. And we can change this level also using this toggle right here. We're gonna keep it at 50. And we're gonna do next. So wow, what we want is that when the iPhone's device's battery falls below 50%, low power mode will automatically turn on. To do this, we're gonna click on next and then add an action. We're just gonna search for low. And the low power mode should come here. Click on search low power mode. And then boom, we're done. Next. And we have to toggle this out off as before running. Basically, it's gonna ask us, hey, do you want to turn this? Low power mode on, you're below 50%. We don't want that, we want it to automatically turn on. So we're just gonna click on don't ask. And then it's gonna, when your iOS device's battery falls below 50%, low power mode will turn on. We're gonna click on tap, and we're good to go. Okay guys, so the ninth feature is basically that you can actually deny permissions for some certain app to access your precise location. Basically, I've touched upon this feature in my previous video where I talked about the iOS 14 main features. If you haven't checked out that video already, I strongly recommend that you check that out and I'll link in the description below. But basically, now this feature allows that you can deny some apps your precise location. 
And this actually not only keeps you more safe, but also saves iOS devices battery life. And to do this, all you have to do is go to your settings, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says privacy, then click on location services, and then you have various amount of apps. You have now, you can, for example, camera, I should turn off precise location. I can do this for a bunch of my other apps, like ESPN already does not have access to my precise location. Home does not have it. And you can toggle this off for apps which you do not need. And last but not the least, the 10th tip for saving iOS devices battery life on iOS 14 is to constantly keep checking for new iOS 14 updates. Basically, iOS 14 is recently released by Apple and app there's a lot of bugs and Apple is constantly releasing new versions and patches of iOS 14 to improve and major times, a lot of the times, these patches actually improve your battery life. To, to check if there's a new update for your iOS device on iOS 14, is, all you have to do is go to settings and then you want to go to general and then click on software update as you can see i have a new update for ios 14.2 and i will update this later today and this will actually improve your battery life because now it will show you what's new and a lot of times these softwares update your battery life so this is really good now you know 10 different tips for how to save ios devices battery life on ios 14 and if this video helped you, remember to give it a like and share this video with friends and family. And if you've been paying close attention, as you can see, the entire time I've actually reduced the motion for my device. See, there's no interaction. So that means I actually follow my own tips that I say and I just don't say that for the sake of saying it. <laughs> just a quick side note. So there you have it guys, now you know 10 different tips for how to save iOS device battery life on iOS 14. And as always, make sure to comment down below any questions or problems that you may have about this video. And but also, you can leave down more additional tips for how to save iOS device battery life since we can all learn. And that's it for this video, check out my previous videos which are linked on screen where I talk about all the good iOS 14 features. And as always, thank you for watching, bye bye. Spirit say